Namaste children today in this session number 68 we are going to solve the problems from worksheet number 2 under the chapter visualizing solids so before that let us know what is a net children children to understand about the net you have to take a cardboard which is in the form of a cube children here i have taken a small paper with the small paper i have made a cube you can observe here so here by using this uh, the scissors by using the scissors we are going to cut this cube along the sides children so when i'm going to cut this cube along the sides so when i open the cube i make it to lie on the book here you can observe so this is a cube i have made the cube which is in the form of 3d figure 3d shape cube is in the form of 3d shape i have converted by cutting along the sides and when i make it to lie flat on the book you can see this form is called as a net children so you, you get a different form of nets when you cut along the sides of the cube so in this way here we are going to form these are also these are also called as the nets of the cubes children these are the examples for the nets of the cubes now in worksheet number 2 we are going to solve the first question can the following be used as a nets to make a cube children by using the scissors i have made the net here children here is the first net which i have made by using the paper and scissors see same type of net i have made here so by folding this you have to say whether you will get a net uh, cube or not so what i do is i take this one this square as a base children when i am going to fold along the sides you can observe so what happens here this one of the square is going to overlap on this and we don't get the complete cube here so one of the square is missing here and this square is going to overlap on this square therefore we don't get a net for this we don't get a cube for this net children so the answer we write it as no here children next one is of the same net here i have cut for you and if i take this as a base this square as a base and if i am going to fold along the sides so what happens along the faces i am going to fold it then you get a complete cube children so we say we get the complete cube therefore the answer i write it as yes here so the next is question number 3 the same net i have taken on the paper now if i am going to take this as a base this square as a base let us fold it along the side children let us see whether you will get a net or or cube or not for this net so you are getting a complete cube children no sides are overlapping or no faces are overlapping and no faces left out so we get a complete cube children so the answer is yes here children next is question number 2 fold the net to get a solid which is given in the figure 14.6 children here we have to fold this net along the sides and what is this solid known as here this figure i have taken on the paper children so that you will understand completely here is a square base so what i do i fold along the sides of the square children so what i get this is a, this is called as the net when i fold it what is the solid i am get, getting i have to observe and write the answer when i fold it i get a, a square based see you can see this base is square and all the faces other faces are triangles so i get a square based pyramid 
this is called as the pyramid children so the answer we write it as pyramid here children question number 3 a dice is a cube with dots or numbers on its faces in such a manner that sum of the dots on its opposite faces is always 7 you might have observed the uh, dice children we play ludo and uh, snake and ladder which such, with the such type of dice children here if uh, the one of the face of the dice is numbered or you have the dot as here only one dot the opposite face will be having six dot children so the sum of the opposite faces will be seven so we have we are given the same here if uh, there are four dots on one face then on the opposite face there will be three sides as i told you before given below are the two nets to make a dice these are the two nets to make a dice you have to put the numbers in the blanks to get a dice in each case children so what i have done here i have taken the net which is given for you and these are the questions or numbers given to you 4 5 and 6 you have to find out the opposite face of 4 5 and 6 in this net children this is the net of the dice so opposite faces will be having the sum of the opposite faces will be 7 we know so if this face is having 4 4 dots then the opposite face should be having 3 dots which is the opposite face to find out i am going to fold it children so you can observe here if this is 4 this must be 3 here therefore i write here 3 so sum of the opposite faces will be 7 4 plus 3 is 7 next let us find what is the opposite face for 6 children when i am going to fold this net you can observe here so the opposite face for 6 will be this the top one and here i am going to write it as 1 and for 5 the opposite face must be the folded one the last one must be the opposite face so 5 plus 2 is 7 therefore this face will be having two dots so i write two here in this way we can write the opposite faces so that the opposite so sum of the opposite faces must be 7 next one i have got one more net children which is given in question number 2 One, three, and six are given to you. We know the opposite face of one should be six, and the sum of these two faces will be seven. Children, now observe. Let us see for the opposite face of one must be six here. When I am going to fold along the sides, you can observe that the opposite face for one must be six here. It is written six here. so the opposite face must be 6 next i am going to find what is opposite face for 3 so here without the cube net also you should be able to imagine children so the opposite face for this must be this face so here i write 4 because the sum of the opposite face must be 7 3 plus 4 is 7 so the opposite face for 3 is 4 then the uh, this face is left children if i take this as 2 then which is the opposite face for 2 this face and 2 plus uh, how much is 7 children 2 plus 5 is children 7 therefore i write 5 in the blanks to get a dice